12 colorful shrubs for year-round color. Witch hazel is an early blooming shrub that may produce the first flowers in your garden. The shrubs are vase-shaped and grow as tall as 12 feet high and wide, though they can easily be pruned back. In fall, expect yellow or orange foliage, which will be brightest if the plant is grown in full sun. Keep plants well watered during dry periods to avoid leaf scorch. Not only is forsythia a vigorous, beautiful bush, but it is also an early bloomer. In fact, forsythia goes into full bloom even before its leaves appear in spring so that they are easy to see and enjoy. They only bloom once, however, and after that, the bush is not particularly interesting. Forsythia can become unkempt if not trimmed, pruning should be done immediately after spring flowering is complete. No list of the best shrubs to grow would be complete without mentioning roses, one of the best summertime plants that you can grow, especially the famous Rosa rugosa. A hardy, easy-to-grow rose, rugosa roses bloom in late spring to early summer, and many varieties will repeat bloom. These roses are sprawling, so give them plenty of space and beware of their large, sharp thorns. Hardy hibiscus not only brings year-long color to the yard but is also unusual in the north. Hardy hibiscus sports one of the largest blossoms you'll find among hardy plants in northern climates, earning it the nickname, dinner plate hibiscus. It tends to bloom at about the same time as its relative, Rose of Sharon, in midsummer and then repeatedly through the fall till the first frost. Hardy hibiscus likes a relatively moist soil, so keep the ground around the plants well mulched to preserve moisture. This May flowering bush features beautiful clusters of fragrant flowers. Although various cultivars are now marketed, such as Bloomerang and Miss Kim, many gardeners still prefer the smell of the old-fashioned, common lilacs. Common lilac can spread uncontrollably unless suckers are removed at ground level. As a flowering bush of late summer with a long blooming period, Rose of Sharon helps bridge the gap in yard color between other plant spring and fall blooms. In fact, these beautiful flowers will rebloom until the first frost. Rose of Sharon is also easy to grow and is tolerant of a wide range of soils and growing conditions. Flowers are produced on new wood, so prune to maintain shape in early spring. A multi-season shrub, Father Gilla features white, fragrant, bottlebrush, flowers in spring. Many gardeners, however, choose the, Mount Airy, dwarf Father Gilla shrubs because of their spectacular autumn foliage. Expect various hues, orange, yellow, green, purplish, sometimes all on one leaf. Father Gilla shrubs are often grown near azaleas and rhododendrons since they have similar soil and cultural needs. Oakleaf hydrangea is a bush that boasts multi-season interest. But while its flowers bloom in the summer, oakleaf hydrangea really comes into its own in autumn, when its leaves turn beautiful colors. For good measure, its peeling bark adds winter interest to the yard. Hydrangea shrubs, in general, there are many kinds, come in handy for those trying to bridge color gaps in the late summer landscape. Where soil is not sufficiently acidic, you can amend with peat moss or feed with an acid-enhanced fertilizer. The Elegantissima cultivar of red twig dogwood outdoes even oakleaf hydrangea. A titan of four-season landscaping, this plant offers year-round visual interest, spring blossoms, two-toned leaves in summer, berries from summer to fall, and bright red twigs, which are brightest in winter. Red twig dogwood looks best when planted in groups or as an informal hedge. No list of shrubs would be complete without including an evergreen. Hollies are broadleaf evergreens, famous for the bright red holly berries with which they festoon the winter yard. The Blue Princess Holly cultivar features glossy bluish-green spiny leaves, small flowers that bloom both in spring and fall, and of course, the holly's classic red berries. Blue Princess Holly can be prone to winter burn, which is less likely if you position them in north or east-facing sites. King's Gold and Gold Mops are popular kinds of fall cypresses. Bearing golden foliage, these evergreens are especially useful when grown along with plants bearing so-called black flowers, really a deep purple, in most cases, or dark leaves to create striking landscaping color schemes. As evergreens, bushes such as gold mops offer year-round color for the yard. 
Threadleaf fall cypress plants like to be kept evenly moist, a thick layer of mulch around the plants can help with this. Stuart Stonian Azalea is an evergreen type of azalea that offers spring flowers, bright red autumn leaves, and attractive winter foliage. In late November, the foliage drops off, but by December new mahogany-colored leaves appear. These remain through the spring, creating visual interest even in dull March. Azaleas prefer somewhat acidic soil, so feed them with an acid-enhanced fertilizer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.